All right, time for another video. This one is going to be titled The Ghost of 2021. I think that should be it. I'm using a uh, stock image of Maximilian Verstappen because, well, this Gencraft thing is really struggling with Maximilian Verstappen for whatever reason, but okay. We keep it moving. Struggles with it, even struggle with Jude Bellingham. We'll get to that later. But well, <clears throat> there's a thing that's occurring, a phenomenon, as it were, that's occurring in this little portion of the F1 YouTube algorithm. And it's that the Maximilian fans can't stay away, they're always rattled. Anytime you come across a video that mentions Abu Dhabi 2021 or, or even just Sir Lewis Hamilton, they're rattled. They're rattled. They want to label the Sir Lewis Hamilton fans a cult and all of that. I mean, it's all fine and dandy doing that there. The truth is there's the Maximilian fans that are the cult. But, well, they always got to jump on a video. And they do a few things. One is they state their dislike of Sir Lewis Hamilton. By the way, Sir Lewis Hamilton fans don't actually dislike Maximilian Verstappen. They just dislike events that he's involved in BTW. But, well, I suppose that, that, that gets lost in translation, even though everyone's just typing in English, isn't it? Uh, and then <clears throat> another thing they do is... They label the Sir Lewis Hamilton fans a cult. And then they attempt to sell people on the idea that Maximilian Verstappen is the GOAT of F1. Now, <laughs> now, one, he's not the GOAT. He may be in the process of becoming the GOAT. Although, here's the thing, his legacy is tainted because of 2021 and what... Strictly because of 2021, really, the budget cap was breached in 2021 as well, and that carries forward, like I've spoken about in prior videos, many prior videos. So his legacy is tainted. So that he might be the GOAT to the Maximilian Verstappen fans, but he's not going to be the GOAT in the objective reality. right? And they like to try and pass what they're saying off. They like to try and pass what they're saying off as fact. For some reason, oh, Maximilian is the GOAT, that's a fact. Okay. Alright. Might be a fact to them, but unfortunately, objective reality doesn't really abide by anyone's psychosis. <laughs> unfortunately. So even if they think he's the GOAT, that's just not what's going to be regarded as true. He's a great driver. An incredible talent, an undeniable talent. You see, there's another thing. You're not going to find any Sir Lewis Hamilton fans who try and denigrate Verstappen's talent. You're not going to try and undersell his talents. Because that doesn't help anyone. What's the point of that? These guys immediately step in to the comment section and they start trying to say, oh, Sir Lewis Hamilton is overrated or... It's nowhere near the best driver of all time, so on and so forth. Look, here's the thing. You're going to have to point me to another driver who's had something like Abu Dhabi 2021 happen to them. You're going to have to do that. Some might say Senna. Senna versus Prost. But, well, I haven't been watching F1 long enough to know that. <laughs> and I don't think they've been watching F1 long enough to even reference that. Right? So, you're not going to be able to point to another Abu Dhabi scenario. It's just not going to happen. Seeing as that Sir Lewis Hamilton is the only driver where the whole operation has switched on to deny him a championship, we, objectively, is the GOAT at that point. Like, his only competition really is Fangio. That's the only competition. Fangio is his competition because of the times he was doing it and he could have died in, in, at any given corner. Didn't happen. Could have died in the accident he had. Didn't happen. 
He's winning championships at 46 years old, by the way. Oh, I'll talk about champions over 40, but anyway. Oh, my goodness. So they try to sell the step in his coat. It's just never going to land. It's never going to land. All right. He will, ha he will have to get probably nine championships to even be considered. Right? And I, I just don't see him getting nine. I don't even see him getting seven, quite frankly. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. And then the cults. Labeling Sir Lewis Hamilton fans as a cult. That one's really fascinating to me. Because they're the ones engaging in cultish behavior. And I'm not sure if they grasp that. They're just telling on the... Y'all are just telling on yourselves, really. I don't know how else to put it to y'all. You're just telling on yourselves. Oh, look at us. We're the cult of Max Millenvista. We are the orange cult, as it were. And they go everywhere. They go everywhere. They got agents everywhere popping out the woodworks and and they start going crazy in the comment sections. Crazy. Now, there are some Lewis Hamilton fans who who have opted into having this grudge with Maximilian Verstappen. Sure, I'll hear you on that. But the majority of these Lewis Hamilton fans one, respect Verstappen's talent. Two, do not hate Maximilian Verstappen. And three, they just hate all the things that have happened around Maximilian Verstappen. Now, sure, Verstappen has benefited, quote-unquote, from these things. But that's not the point of contention with Maximilian. The point is that the whole operation had to switch on to get him a championship. The point is that the whole operation had to sweep the budget cap breach under the rug. And you see, Zach Brown. <laughs> Zach Brown's a fascinating character because he's coming in with his American, his American flair, as it were. But Zach Brown, obviously, he's been told, "Look, you can't be talking loosely." about scenarios that are in play in the F1, such as the budget cap breach and what its ramifications are. It's very clear that Zach Brown has been told by people smarter than him in regards to F1 what exactly the ramifications are of breaching budget cap. So he's been told, all right? Now, I don't know, who knows, he might have done some funny accounting to get McLaren in advantage. We'll see what happens. But, well, you see, the point is that everyone has had to opt in to to allow Maximilian Verstappen's reign to happen without any problematic optics cropping up. And this is a thing that the Verstappen fans just do not grasp. Y'all just don't grasp it, and you keep coming to various channels trying to air your truth, as it were, but your truth is not reality. Right. Just because you believe it to be true it does not necessarily mean that it's reality. Right? You might be colorblind or something. You see the sky is purple. The sky, in this, the sky is not necessarily purple. It might be true to you that it's purple, because that's what your eyes see, but the rest of us are seeing something different. The <laughs> rest of us are seeing something absolutely different. Now, the Verstappen fans, they're in a tizzy because they're realizing that their boy's legacy is not going to be what they want it to be. They have to desperately sell his legacy anywhere they go. I never saw this happening with Sir Lewis Hamilton. Never. I still don't actually see it happening with Sir Lewis Hamilton. People just talk on what's factual. People don't like what the facts are. All right. Now, why are they doing that? Because this ghost of 2021 is is settled in their heads. It's rent free. It's rent free, man. It's taking up so much space in their heads. 
completely rent free, is not paying no rents, not paying no levies, none of that. None of that. Doesn't have to report to the homeowners association. It's just sitting in their head, rent free, taking up space, dictating their actions. All right. They come onto channels. You know, their channels are posting daily, right? The Verstappen channels are posting daily, bro, CF. You know why they're posting daily? Because as long as the show keeps moving, right? As long as you keep the show moving, then you don't have to actually stop and take stock of what's actually happening. All right, this triple header that they're doing right now, we're in the second race of the triple header. But, and it's going to end on Silverstone. The triple header that's going on right now, right? They quiz Maximilian Verstappen on ticket sales for the Silverstone Grand Prix. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a good attendance anyway. I would be surprised if it doesn't. But they quizzed Maximilian on ticket sales. Oh, why do you think there's fewer ticket sales for the British Grand Prix? I mean, really, what's happening is that the Brits, you know, I might have a lot to say about the Brits, but the Brits, like the Americans, they don't tolerate bullshit. They don't tolerate their, they don't tolerate things that are supposed to be sports being made into entertainment. Other people might do, you see, the Brits are spoiled as well, like, the, <laughs> the Brits are spoiled as well. They're going to have the F1 come by. You know, they might, Silverstone might lose the contract for like a, three years or something, but it's going to come back. You'll have time to do so. You'll have time to go to the Grand Prix later. Right? Other countries don't necessarily have that. The F1 might only come around for this four year period of the contract that's been signed with the circuit. And that will be that. You're not going to have another F1 race probably for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, forever. Who knows? But the Brits aren't buying tickets. Ain't that fascinating? Ain't that fascinating? They, they were still buying tickets when Schumacher was dominating. They were still buying tickets when Alonso was doing his thing. They were still buying tickets when Vettel was doing his thing. They were still buying tickets when Sir Lewis Hamilton was doing his thing. People are going to say, oh, it's British. Sir Lewis Hamilton, he's British. Of course they're going to buy the tickets. Well, I mean... The Brits do the in-group preference thing, and they like the white drivers more than Sir Lewis Hamilton. So you can't really say that they were there to see Sir Lewis Hamilton. It would be useful to them that there's a Brit dominating F1. Yeah, sure, that would be useful, but that's not what sold out Silverstone last year or the year before, is it? <laughs> but anyway, anyway. The cult of Verstappen is a very fascinating entity to just drink in. Really a fascinating entity. They think Maximilian Verstappen is hated. They think that, well, people are just, they think that we're just talking negative about F1. I mean, look, I credited Verstappen for his win in Canada. He couldn't even use the curbs for the last 15, 15 laps. And I'm crediting him for winning. Right? I didn't say, oh, the car is illegal or what have you, so it doesn't even matter if you don't get to use the curbs. I'm looking at the other drivers saying, you get to use more circuit than Max Miller and Verstappen. Y'all should be making inroads on him. Right? So, you see, I'm not even a Sir Lewis Hamilton fan, but you don't have to be a Sir Lewis Hamilton fan. It's not really, it's not about whether you're a Sir Lewis Hamilton fan or not a Sir Lewis Hamilton fan. That's just what the race was. It was an organic, authentic Grand Prix. I'll celebrate Maximilian Verstappen winning. He drove a good race. But the Verstappen fans, they don't they're not gonna hear that. They're not gonna hear that. All they're gonna all they're gonna do is say, Oh look, they're talking about 2021 again. Oh, they're crying about 2021. I don't know anyone who cried about 2021 on the day, after the day, a month after it, a year after it, what have you. I don't know anyone who cried about it. People might have been incensed, but no one would be crying. That's a bizarrity. 
Verstappen cried. BTW. <laughs> Maximilian cried. Maybe even Yoss cried. Who knows? I didn't. I didn't catch. I didn't bother to have a look at him. Spice Boy cried. Did he not? Did the Maximilian Verstappen fans cry? Probably. Probably. But I mean, look, this is a PSA to the Maximilian Verstappen fans. Y'all gotta slow down with exposing yourselves. Really. Y'all really gotta slow down. Yes, we can see that you're a cult. It's not a problem to be a Maximilian fan. It's not even a problem to be a cult, but if you're going to start attacking other people or trying to denigrate Sir Lewis Hamilton, a driver that your own your own fave is never going to denigrate, I mean, I don't know what you're doing at that point. I really don't know what you're doing. You're just under the psychosis that the apparatus has put you under, and you, you, you are reveling in it. And someday you're going to have to, you're going to have to come to terms with the truth that unfortunately Maximilian is not what you wanted him to be because the FIA and FOM failed him. Even Red Bull failed him by going over budget. And I've said this plenty of times before, I'm going to say it again on this video. A driver of the talent of Maximilian Verstappen deserved better. Deserved much better than 2021, the whole season, and thereafter the budget cap breach and the ramifications of that. He deserved much better than that. Much better. He's too talented for... For us to have to deal with unpacking the whole 2021 situation with the whole season with Michael Massey and thereafter the budget cap breach. He's too talented for us to have to do that. But we have to. This is the reality we've been given. That's the reality we've been given. There is no psychosis there. There is no psychosis. Otherwise... Otherwise, the penalties Red Bull was serving last season shouldn't have existed. Otherwise, there never should have been news reports of Red Bull having been over budget for 2021. Otherwise, Massey should never have been sacked and made to sign an NDA. What's another thing they talk about? The 50G at Silverstone? Guys... You know how many drivers have had a 50G impact? I mean, I would understand talking about the 50G if the Hans device didn't exist. I would, I, you know, I totally get it then. But we, this is Hans device era. Ocon had a 50G impact at Miami. I didn't hear no one say he almost died. I didn't hear that. Oh, the circuit almost killed Ocon. I didn't hear no one say that. 50G impact he had. Right? You could, you could, you, you could perhaps try to run it that the accelerometers are telling a lie, but you, you, you got to be smoking some premium grade reefer to be doing that. Really, really. You really got to be smoking some premium grade reefer to be doing that. But anyway, anyway, that's one of the craziest cultish behaviors, right? They keep talking about 50 G's, 50 G's. Oh, so Lewis Hamilton almost killed him, yada, yada, yada. Brother, so Lewis Hamilton was avoiding accidents with this guy all the way up until that point of the season. All the way. And then all of a sudden, when Sir Lewis Hamilton puts his foot down, he keeps his foot in it and says, well, if you're going to put us in a situation where I either let you go or we crash, then we're going to crash. We're going to see what happens. Whoever comes off best is whoever comes off best. And Max Miller Verstappen came off second best. 
oh my god, they want to make a whole scene about it. They want to talk. They want to talk about that. They want to talk about the Silverstone crash for years and years and years. Why is Ocon's crash not being talked about? Why is the Miami crash not being talked about for years and years and years? It was also a 50G impact. Why is that? Funny little men, them, these Maximilian Verstappen cultists are. But anyway. Anyway. The problem is not with Maximilian Verstappen. Everyone can note Verstappen's talent. That's not difficult to do. Verstappen was no doubt a lot of people's favorites at some point. Especially after the things he did in Brazil and the wet. He was no doubt a lot of people's favorites at some point. They wanted to see him succeed. Probably people no doubt still want to see him succeed, even if they also lose Hamilton fans. But there's a context that he must succeed in. And that context wasn't... That's not the context we were given for 2021. That's not the context that we've been given for 2022 or 2023. Now, this season, current season, we are lucky that McLaren have put together a car that can actually win at some Grand Prix. Well, that probably should win at some Grand Prix. We're lucky. All right? This is what everyone has been hoping for, not just not just the Sir Lewis Hamilton fans. See, it doesn't even matter that Sir Lewis Hamilton is not the one that's challenging Max Millen Verstappen for wins right now. We've, we're happy that it's Norris. Don't matter who. Don't matter who. Oh, they finally closed the gap with that illegal Red Bull. Red Bull started hitting the point of diminishing returns and all people finally caught up you know who's happiest about that the commentators commentators are happiest about that they finally have something to comment <laughs> they finally have something to run commentary on goodness me you know there's another thing that the max Miller and verstappen fans do a lot and they claim that there's a british bias in the commentary specifically for sir lewis hamilton now i don't know have y'all been watching f1 that has never really been the case <laughs> it's never really been the case that sir lewis hamilton was favored by commentary it's never really been the case that it matters that is british commentary all right, the British love to paint themselves as the most fair people in the world. That's what they love to do. They're not going to jeopardize that by suddenly running favorites. Yes, commentary team might have favorites, but I promise you, Verstappen, Maximilian Verstappen, is a bigger favorite for them than a Sir Lewis Hamilton, than a Lando Norris, than a Gorgeous Russell, than a than a Charles Leclerc, that it's a bigger favorite. Brundle is a bigger fan of Verstappen than any of the drivers on the grid. But no, we won't. You know, no one's gonna. Well, I suppose some people have spoken about Brundle waxing lyrical about Maximilian Verstappen. But really, I'm not gonna complain about that. He likes Verstappen. He likes Verstappen. I don't really give a damn. Like, how can I, how can I blame him for liking Maximilian Verstappen? It's like getting upset if commentary, if English commentary liked Michael Schumacher. Like, what? 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 Why would you get upset? Bizarro. But anyway. Yeah, I think I'll end the vid there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Peace.